Hey, this is Rahul with question number two, mechanical sorting from CS61BL, summer 2021, it's final exam. So we're given the array 4217360, and we're asked to run selection sort on it. Um, and after, how many swaps does six first go in front of seven? So we want to figure out after how many swaps. So a, a natural way to do this is to just run selection sort, and then keep track of like the swaps you've done so far and see when six first goes in front of seven, how many swaps do we have? So if you don't recall, the way selection sort works is it looks at like the unsorted array. This is our current unsorted array, and it looks for the minimum element. In this case, the minimum is zero. So what we do is we swap the minimum element with the first element of our unsorted array. So the first element is four, so we're gonna swap four and zero and this gives us a swap count of one. And after swapping them, we can now see zero is here, four is here. They have been swapped from their original positions. Now, this is our sorted array. This has now been sorted, and the rest is the unsorted. This is our unsorted array. And in our unsorted array, we're going to recursively call selection sort. So what is the minimum element here? The minimum element is one, so we'll swap one with the first element in the unsorted array. So we'll swap one and two. This will bring our swap count up to two. So swap one and two, we can see one and two have been swapped. Now the sorted array has expanded to this region and the unsorted array has expanded to this region, or I guess de-expanded. <laughs> um, yeah, and now we're going to find the minimum in here and swap it with the first element. Here we, we notice that we swap two with itself and this sort of trivial swap doesn't actually count as a swap per the instructions. Luckily, the instructions clarify that for us. So we won't count it. And we'll now include this as the sorted and this as the unsorted. So running selection sort recursively, again, we're going on this like sub -sort unsorted array. We'll now see that the minimum is three, so we'll swap three with the first element of the unsorted array, which is three and seven. So that will bring our swap count up to three. We swap three and seven, and now we have this sorted region, and we have this unsorted region. Once again, we'll find the minimum. The minimum in this unsorted region is four, and we'll swap it with the first element of the sorted region, of the unsorted region, which is four and seven. We'll swap that. That will give us a sw uh, swap count of four, and you'll notice that after we do this, we're done. Why are we done? Well, we were asked to find after how many swaps does six go in front of seven? If you recall over here, seven was always in front of six, but now six is before seven. And we'll notice that this happened with four swaps. So after four swaps, six finally came first in front of seven.